Precious. Hello. Oh, look. Oh. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. It talks. <laughs> is it a bunny? Yes. Ah. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> well, we're going to find out. <laughs> OK. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> Wait, you're going to sing? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> so Puppet, I'm guessing, is exactly like you. Very charming and adorable. You made my heart melt. You were brilliant. I'm trying to describe how amazing it was. You know what? And if you have What's your name? We are men, men with, with pants. 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 OK, and how long has this act been happening for? Nearly 10 years. OK, and why America's Got Talent this year? Why not? Good answer. OK, well, look, I'm not going to ask any more questions because I'm really keen to see this. Good luck. We go. Yeah, so I think they juggle. I think they're juggling pants. That's my guess.
going to say no. No, you're Aww. not. Oh, yes, I am. Heidi, what are you going to say? Of course, yes. 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 Howie. Yes, yes. Your fate is in the hand of Mel B. Mel, it's hilarious. What do you want to tell her? Mel, you want to take it back. Come on, Mel. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Guys, take it back. Take it back. what do you want to say to Mel to turn her around? If we did come back, we have other beautiful things to show you with frying pans and musical things for your ears. Okay, Mel, up to you. Do it for me now, for me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you that second chance when I'm saying yes. Yes! Yeah! You know, she thought it was funny. Look at him. He actually thought it was funny. He just doesn't want to admit it. Hi. Hello. Hi. How Hello. are you? I'm awesome. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, we're happy you are. What's your name? My name's Jane. When I sing, I go by Nightbird. Oh, that's nice. Nightbird. That's right. Uh, did you sing? Do you sing for a living? Um, not not recently. Where are you from? I'm from Zanesville, Ohio. Okay. How old are you? I'm 30. 30 years old and the dream is to be a singer. What are you gonna be singing for us tonight? I'm singing an original song called It's Okay. It's Okay. Yeah. It is, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What is It's Okay about? Uh, it's Okay is the story of the last year of my life. All right, and who are you here with? I'm here by myself. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Um, I have not been working for quite a few years. I've been dealing with cancer. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Can, can I ask you a question? How are you now? Uh, last time I checked, I had some cancer in my lungs, my spine, and my liver. Wow. So you're not okay? Uh, well, not in every way, no. You got a beautiful smile and a beautiful glow, mm -hmm. and nobody would know. Thank you. It's important that uh, everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that yes. happen to me. Yes. All right. Sing for us. Good luck. Nightbird. Change my mind. I thought that all my problems they would stay behind. I was a stick of dynamite, and it just was a matter of time. Yeah.
Okay, let me try again. Well, welcome to America's Got Talent anyway. Died in a building, building blaze. blaze. Suicide victim to blame. Oh my gosh. Yes. Who caused the fire? Choose a name. I said Bob. Suicide victim to blame. Oh my God. This is Bob. Bob. My hands are shaking. And what's under the Polaroid? Don't even ask. I just guessed a random name. Turning this over. Look. Oh my God! Bob is behind me. Look at that. That. 
that is, you, you should go away. Go away now. That's crazy. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming to AGT. What is your name? My name is Putri Haryani. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Indonesia. No. <laughs> Putri, is this your first time in America? This is my very first time. I'm so excited. I love all the things in here. What is your talent? I am a singer. How long you been singing? Maybe since I was born. <laughs> and what is your dream? My dream is being a biggest diva in the world, like win the Houston and win a Grammy Award. Oh, wow! Yes! Are you, are you going to school now? Yes, I'm in high school, but I hope that I can get in Juilliard College of Music for my college program. Why AGT? Have you always wanted to come here? I hope that I can win America's Got Talent so I can reach my dream. Okay, we're so happy that you're here and excited. We want to see you. Thank you so much. She's so sweet. So cute. Yeah. Does that mic feel like it's a good spot for you? Cool, and the key's good? Yes. Okay, cool, have fun. Excited? Yes, very. When you woke up this morning and it was like, oh God, it's my audition day, what was the first thing that was in your head? Meeting you, Simon. You're my idol, literally. I love you so much. <laughs> and doing my best for everybody. But, but mainly me. <laughs> I get it. 
You're the best, like, I... <laughs> and how old are you? 13 years old. You know that you win a million dollars if you win the show? Yeah. What would you do with the money? I would buy a guinea pig. <laughs> wow. No one's ever said that. I would call him Simon Cowell, and then my sister, if she gets one, who will call him Howie. <laughs> <laughs> Simon and Howie, the guinea pigs. OK, well, listen, we're all rooting for you, Charlotte. Good luck. Thank you. There's a guinea pig's life at stake here. <laughs> Name Simon Cowell. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna tell you, you are beautiful and sassy and everything all rolled in the one and you blew the roof off the house. Thank you. Gabrielle. Are you sure you're 13? Yeah, I'm sure. Cause honey, I felt like the rent was due, your man done did you wrong. <laughs> You've got a depth and a soul and I'm here for all of this. Thank you. I think your voice is strong, it's powerful, but it's not overdone. I just love you. Thank you. I could see how much you really respected the artist. I would say to you, if you make it through to the live show, Charlotte, you've got to drop backing tracks, you know? Because when you let go, you're at your best. But we've got to go to the important part. How are yes or no? She put a spell on me, it's yes. Thank you so much. Gabrielle. You've got two yeses. Thank you. Julia. Absolutely, you got three. Thank you. Actually, no, you don't. You've actually got four yeses. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Isn't she adorable? Welcome. Thank you. Now, husband and wife? Yes. Okay, and just tell me your names, please. Uh, my name is Marcelito Pomoy. Marcelito? Yeah. And you are? And I am Joanne Pomoy. And where are you both from? We are both from the Philippines. Oh. <laughs> now, you're not the act, are you? I'm not. Okay. So, the reason why I'm here is to support him all throughout. Okay, good. My husband, you know, he has very hard life in the Philippines. But then he won the Philippines Got Talent. Did he win? Yes. What year? 
2011. Huh? I'm going to ask you one last question. Are you here to win it? Yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. wonderful singer with a young woman trapped inside of you. Thank you, sir. I want to see something different, something unique, and Marcelito, you just gave that to us. Thank it you. was absolutely brilliant. Incredible, incredible. Honestly, this is one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my entire life. Your voice, your range, your sound is just so out of this world. So Howie Bridget? Howie, you actually should do it. I think it'll be amazing. You are so worthy of the Golden Buzzer. And I think you're one of the most incredible singers. But this is very early in the night, and I can only choose one. So I'm going to keep my Golden Buzzer but it's up to our super fans, and I, I hope they vote you through. That was what I call a 10. As simple as that. I have a feeling that the super fans will put you through to the next round. Come on, super fans. Yes. Come on, super, super fans. fans. Super fans. Super fans. Can we get a ladder back here? But I think I'll be able to. I know, right? This is crazy. This is crazy. I am special head. What I do is quite phenomenal, but I'm concerned that the initial preparation that I must do will be possibly disturbing to the judges and audience. I have to align my chakras and get into a very meditative state. This environment is going to be quite difficult. Those X's are very loud, and I hope it doesn't destroy my concentration. Hello. 
you okay? Oh, I'm, I'm all right. All right. Um, what is your name? Uh, my name is Special Head. <laughs> I've, I, ha I personally have never taken a sedative, but mm. I imagine if I would take a sedative and look in the mirror, I would see Special Head. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Special Head. Special Head. <laughs> <clears throat> Somebody want to get that? <laughs> Messing up his chi, Howard. How are you supposed to meditate if you're hitting buzzer? because I think Howard had a premature exification. I did. I was annoyed with you. I wanted to lock you in a mental institution. <laughs> and then lo and behold, you pulled off your special trick, special head. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna take my ex back because I actually like what you did. I've never done that before. First time. First time. This was amazing. And I'm sitting right here and I'm looking and I'm like, how is he doing this? You know, I'm so glad I didn't hit my ex because I think what we all just witnessed was out of this world. I just saw something I have never seen before and I definitely want to see again. It's a yes from me. It is a hands down definite yes from me. I want to see you again, yes. It is a yes for me. You have four yeses. Are you going to Vegas? Going to Vegas. <laughs> he can float in air, but he can barely walk. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you. I, I like your it. Pain. Yeah, I was, um, it wasn't really working the same way. How do you do that trick? I mean, look, the whole room is yapping about it, how he did it. Mm. What's your name? My name is Angelica Hale. And where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. How old are you? I'm nine years old. And I just found out that I'm going to be a big sister. Wow! Mama! Who do you want to be like? I want to be the next Whitney Houston. Wow! I want to be a superstar. Wow. That was a and I'm so happy to be here because, like, I've been watching your show on YouTube, and now I feel like, like, I'm in it, and I'm, like, so, yeah. like, awestruck. And not only are you in it, you're in it to... To win it! Yeah! Oh. Yeah. Oh, my little girl. Go ahead, Angelica. Okay. Win thank it for you. yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Whitney Houston. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find the fighter. Wow. 
but I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out and move. shouldn't actually happen. <laughs> you're tiny, your voice is huge. I have a feeling we may be looking at a star in the future. Thank you. Heidi. Wow, I had goosebumps everywhere. You're a clever little girl and you said you want to be a superstar. I think that might happen for you. Let me tell you. You are so special, and your voice is so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this with us today. By the way, Mel B, you're my favorite judge. Yes. Go and give me a hug. You are so good. You're all going so well. today? I'm doing good. What's your name and how old are you? My name is Celine and I'm nine years old. For nine oh. years old? This is my dream being in America's Got Talent. Oh. So what are you going to be doing for us today? I'm going to be singing. Oh wow. 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 Have you got any brothers or sisters? I got a little sister. And what's her name? Her name is Dion. Oh. Celine and Dion. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> really? So I'm guessing your parents love Celine Dion. Yes, of course. Right. So when did you realize that you had a great singing voice? When I was in the car, my dad's driving, and then suddenly I just sang My Heart Will Go On, and then he was like, wow. wow. Why Celine Dion song? Yeah. We got that. We've worked that out, Mel. There's a Celine Dion <laughs> connection. I know, but I'm just... Yeah. So, what, so what kind of music do you like to listen to? I like... Uh, Celine like, Dion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and what is your big dream when you To be you the grow next up? Celine Dion, she's got it. <laughs> this is my dream! <laughs> this is your dream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celine, can um, I ask you a question? Yeah? What artist are you going to be singing? Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> well, Celine, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. 
your name? So I'm Tom Graham from Australia. And I'm Chris Yume from Belgium. How did you meet? So actually, we started a company about a year ago, and because it was during the pandemic, we only actually met in person two days ago. Oh. Oh. And what is your talent? So our company is called Metaphysic, and we use artificial intelligence to create hyper-real content. And so we're going to invite our good friend, Daniel Limit on stage, who you guys are familiar with from a previous season. I remember who Daniel is. And we're going to show the audience something kind of amazing. How are you, everybody? Nice to see you. Hi. Nice to see you. You were on how many years ago? Four years ago. And you were amazing. And you were a very good singer. So how did you meet? We met because, of course, I'm fans of what they do online, and they're fans of AGT. And when they asked me to be a part of this wonderful, unique, original thing they're going to do, I couldn't say no. Well, look, you're very mysterious. I don't want to ask anything else. Good luck. OK, Daniel, take it away. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you, guys. What did they put together? <laughs> I know it's strange, but I love you, Daniel. Simon, I love you too. I've always said, is there such a thing as a perfect contestant, a great singer who looks incredible? We just found them. Honestly, this was the best thing I've seen all day. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Because I was laughing so much. <laughs> I cannot even imagine the amount of work to be able to create something so perfect. Because if I was not paying attention and I see this on TV, I think it's Simon 20 years ago singing. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to America's Got Talent. I'm a little afraid now. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And <laughs> you are... 
You are you. What, <laughs> what, what, do you have a name? Tape. You're taped. You're taped. Um, what are you going to be doing? You don't know. So, what is this? Maybe we'll, t will we talk after? Maybe. Okay, I love a mystery. Go ahead and do what it is you do. the fact that we don't know who you are anything <laughs> about you or what you're going to do it was like simple but clever unique funny brilliant Heidi at first I thought you were so creepy <laughs> but then I really truly loved it Mel who's gonna go home tonight and try that lady in red thing was just genius. I agree. And I think your life has changed tonight. And by this time tomorrow, everyone in America, no, no one in America is going to know your name. OK, one, two, three. Yes! Easton and I'm 14. And we're best friends who dance together. Oh, well, they do it really well. I love dancing with Easton because he's so amazing and nice and sweet. 
He's like my older brother. Izzy is very bubbly and fun. We're also such a good pair because we don't only love dance, we love food, too. Mm, yes. Great. Woo! We both have so much fun, but we've been practicing so hard. The song we're performing to tonight is about Easton being a soldier and being called off to war. I'm his little sister, and I don't want him to leave. I'm so nervous. There are a lot of nerves tonight <laughs> because there are a lot of very talented acts here. I thought it was a nice performance. I wasn't blown away, though, if I'm being completely honest. I really don't think this is a million dollar act, so it's a no from me. I'm sorry. If we got a no from the judges, <laughs> that would be so bad. Tonight, this is gonna be one of the biggest performances we've ever done, but I think we're ready for it. We're just gonna do what we know how to do best, which is dance. Hi, what are your names? I'm Izzy. I'm Easton. And where do you live? In Las we... Vegas. And what are you guys gonna do here for us? We're gonna dance. <gasps> are you guys related, brother, sister? No. Oh, so how long have you guys been dancing together? Like, For about like five years. Yeah. So what type of dance do you do? Contemporary. I love that they keep All looking right. at each other, it's so cute. Good luck. Let's see what you got. Does anybody like contemporary dance out yes. of interest? Like who? Me. Anyone else? L everyone. Who? The world. Soldier, keep on marching on Head down till the work is done Soldier, keep on marching on Head down till the work is done We don't know that morning sun Welcome to America's Got Talent. How are you? Um, a little bit nervous. That's okay to be nervous. That's totally understandable. What's your name? Courtney. And how old are you? 13. Oh, 13. Wow. Um, what's your favorite subject in school? Music. What kind of music? I don't know. <laughs> you're very sweet. And I'm guessing you're gonna be singing for us? Yeah. Listen, don't be nervous. I know this is a big stage and there's lots of people here, but you're here for a reason, so go for it and good luck. Thank you.
poor me. You like this shy little thing when you first came out, and then you sing and you're like a lion. I mean, genuinely incredible. Howie, what did you think? Oh, my God. You are not from this era. You're from a whole different era. Yes. And I'm a huge Janis Joplin fan, and there's a story, if you ever watch the documentary, Clive Davis, he goes to the Monterey Pop Festival, and he sees this young girl that nobody has ever seen before, that nobody knows. It was the first time Janis Joplin got signed. And that, that changed her life. Do you know that story? Yeah. I'm not Clive Davis, I'm Howie Mandel, and I can't sign you to a record deal. The only thing I can do for you, young lady, is give you... So much. Thank you so much. No, thank you so much. Oh my God. You are absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like that. We are World Taekwondo Demonstration Team. Wow, okay. And where are you all from? We are from around the world. Yeah. <laughs> but some of them from South Korea, some of them from America. Cool. So tell me why America's got talent. Actually, they, uh, we are invited to perform at the Olympics. Really? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot do it due to COVID. So you could say you chose us over the Olympics? Yes. That's correct. <laughs> I love that. Do you believe that you could win the competition? Yes. OK, <laughs> that's very confident. I like that. No more questions. Two minutes can change your life. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my daughter has a black belt in Taekwondo. She really does? In this, yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Very serious. Exciting. Yeah.
My mom, Svetlana. And what do you do? We train cats. Cats? Yes, cats. Why? <laughs> How many? Uh, ten cats and one dog. Wow. Yeah. That poor dog. <laughs> well, there's a million dollars up for grabs and headlining Vegas. So, good luck. I hope you like it. Yep, they do what they want, those cats. Do you have a cat? I used to have a cat.
O'Neill, and I am nine years old. My name is Erin O'Neill, and I am six years old. When we go out there, we go and smile and be proud and not be nervous. That was the best prep talk I've heard. <laughs> I got drums for Christmas, and Alan kept poking her head inside. She was like, I want to play. So we gave her a microphone, and she started singing. I wanted to sing, and I knew I could do it. I loved it. You ready? You ready to go out there? Yeah. Have fun. Go get them. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What is your name, young lady? Alan. And you, sir, what is your name? Isaiah. You're the drummer, I take it, and what do you do? Sing. You're, and how old are you? Six. You're six, and how old are you? Nine. Brother and sister? Yes. Like the Partridge family. <laughs> I love that show. You ever hear of that show? All right, we can't wait to hear your sweet music. Thank you. Surprised you. The reason I hit my buzzer wasn't because I didn't like the song. I was afraid your voice was going to blow out and you never get to talk again because you were screaming so loud. Does that hurt your voice? No. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you, that song really packs a punch. It really does. <laughs> what is the title of that song? Zombie Skin. Zombie Skin. That's what I thought. It was about zombies. Whoa. I love the way you dress when you do this form of music. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, Heidi, what did you think? I'm really confused. You were so cute and sweet, and when you opened your mouth, I was like, Whoa. And I want to meet your parents. Where are they? Are they there, Nick? What goes on in your house? Uh, uh -huh. I mean, There's the culprit. There's the culprit. What is going on? Good job, Dad. Hey, right on. All right, let's hear from Mel B. Scary Spice is officially scared. <laughs> That's it. Howie. That's it. I love it. The people who saw this are rewinding and saying, you're not going to believe what this little girl just did. <laughs> did you write any other music? Do you have other songs? Yes. yes. What are some of the other titles? Lullaby Crash. Lullaby Crash. Um, brush my hairs and knots. Oh, um, I know that one. It goes like this. <laughs> All right, we're going to vote. I'm going to go to Howie Mandel first, who is an expert on this type of music. Screamo, Howie, what do you think? It, I do. I, I like this kind of music. And I, you think it's crazy, but I do. And hopefully we'll get to see you in Vegas, because I'm voting yes. I have to be realistic. No. I'm still confused, but I do want to hear Lullaby Crash. <laughs> lullaby Crash! I want to hear it! You know what they say? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Let's see if you can keep a secret in Vegas. I'm going to sing you this. I like it. How excited she is. Settle down. Settle down, little girl. Hi, young lady. What is your name? 
Grace. Grace, you're a beautiful young lady, you know that? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 12. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> what are you going to sing? I'm singing an original. Really? Yes. What's it about? It's about me. <laughs> and are the people at school behind you supporting you? Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> Stage is yours. Good luck. show about surprises and you use the word miracle and I think you are a living beautiful walking miracle your original the people not knowing your name is so right and so wrong because I think the world is gonna know your name I think right now they're gonna know your name because you are going right now. Predict for you, I think you are the next little Taylor Swift. Thank you so much. Wow. Howie's golden buzzer. How's it feel? I feel like this, I'm kind of just daydreaming. I'm getting ready to wake up. Well, this is going to be a long dream because you're going straight through to the live show. You'll see it. Great girl. Wow. Thank you. What a great personality. I can't believe it. You still have confetti in your hair. I do. You hear, hear Simon Cowell make a prediction that you're the next Taylor Swift? <laughs> Can I get your autograph? <laughs> so you think you've got a star now? I 100% think we've got a star. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, I wow. really do. That is a big the, This wow. girl is special. She is yeah. special. Wow. And I'm now annoyed I didn't press the golden button. <laughs> Excuse me. Hang on, hang on. Can I have your first name? You need to ask, who do I look like? <laughs> oh, my 
name is Donald J. Trump. I'm 70 years old. I consider myself a native New Yorker. But uh, presently, I now live in Washington, D.C., uh, due to work. Here's the delete button on this thing. Most people, they look at Trump, they think he has everything, you know? Successful businessman, reality star, president of the United States. But I'm 70 years old, I'm not gonna be here forever. I'm trying to make the world a better place and spread a little joy, and that's why I'm here. I voted from? for you twice. You voted for me two times. Two times. Get a good pick. Who's your cameraman? I don't let, listen. I don't think about the competition. The world is a beautiful garden, and I want to shine in the sun, in the spotlight. You've got this. You can do it. The president of the United States on America's Got Talent. You don't get better than that. We are going to make America's Got Talent great again. It's gonna be huge. Do you think you can win this competition? No, I know I can win it. I know I can win it. Hold on. Can I just finish? I am here on a mission of love. It's true. This better be good or they're gonna build a wall around you and this audience is gonna pay for it. So. Go for it. Good luck. Better be good. Hit it. Pants. Wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> Come on, dance, jump on it. You sexier than flown it. You freakier than own it. Don't brag about it. Come show me. Come on, dance, jump on it. You sexier than flown it. Well, it's Saturday night and we're in the spot. Don't believe it, just watch. If I don't make it through to the next round after that, this thing is rigged. Okay, uh, Howie. You know, I'll be honest with you, I think it's funny, and I think in these times, this is the kind of performance we need. And you know what? You won this audience over. You're gonna be huge. Thank you, Howie. Heidi. See, this is not about liking Donald Trump or not liking Donald Trump. This says America's Got Talent, and you are talented. It's the first time that I really like Donald, I have to say. Mel. For me, it was not enough good singing, and oh, no. OK, we're going to vote. Howie. Definitely, yes. <laughs> it's crazy that I'm saying this, but I'm saying yes to Donald Trump. Mel. I, I have to say no. It's OK, hey, folks. Hey, it's, it's, it's okay, a democracy. Folks. She's from Australia. I'm from England. I'm from England. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know my countries. <laughs> Donald Trump. You've just won for the second time. Three yeses. Oh, come on, I can't. Just pick one. Anyone. Oh, you can see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you write your name? Okay.
some like glass or something. It's like sealed inside. Can you take it out? No. What? I was super close and didn't. That was some crazy magic. Uh, well, everyone stood on their feet. Howie? Oh, my God. By leaps and bounds is the best sleight of hand close-up magic oh, I have ever thank seen. Thank you so life. much. <laughs> Incredible. I mean, this was unbelievable. Right, Howie is no. Oh, my God. You have your first yes. No me. You have your second yes, brother. And I'm going to give you a third yes. I think there were, what, 3,400 people in here? So, I think you got 3,400 yes. In life, moments come and go. Take your shot or you'll never know. Your heart will tell you when it's time to move. Ask yourself what you got to lose. When it storms, when it rains, it falls on all of us the same. But after today, the world's gonna know my name. Everybody backstage, please don't be scared. Cause up close, Simon looks just like a teddy bear. A couple steps up off the stage, watch how far that I go. And I'ma feed my fam with this, and that's no bullshit. Chicago. In my backpack. I'm trying to be incredible like my birthday was Jack Jack and now I'm standing on this stage here at AGT dreams do come true and you can take it from me just one man who has drive determination in my eyes if they don't say that I worked hard for this trust me they lie make the crowd say oh yeah knock it out like they lie I'm all about pushing the limits not about pushing papers do you feel me America, can you hear me? This young man's out here chasing dreams. I hope you see that clearly. My entire future, man, I put it on the line. Hey, so I gotta make it now before I'm out of time. In life, moments come and go. Take a shot or you'll never know. Your heart will tell you when it's time to move. Ask yourself what you got to lose. When it storms, when it rains, it falls on all of us the same. Man, I feel blessed. This is crazier than I thought, man. <laughs> is your family here tonight? Yeah, 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 they're right. That's a big family. I grew up in a blended family, but they all played a major part in me growing up. I just want to thank all you guys. You guys raised a dreamer, man, and we're doing it. Listen, dreams come true on this stage, and I'm, I think we're seeing your dream come true. I'm sorry I look like a punk up here. I'm a punkette, then, because I am literally crying as well. Yeah. Yeah. There's a new generation with millennials and, like, putting out there what is good in this world, and I believe you are so good. Thank and... you so much. <laughs> I'm a fan. Do I do this? Yeah. Do I do this? You got the best reaction for doing nothing we've ever had on this show. Like, you got a standing ovation before we even performed. Yeah. And I'm thinking, <laughs> am I like one step behind here? And I said to Jill, is this serious or not? And I think it is. I tell you what, the whole world should go to your school right now. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs>
you got amazing energy, I've got to tell you. Thank you, Simon. And I like your voice as well. I think you've got Thank a great you. tone. I uh, might not be the best singer in the world, but man, I love to perform. No, but I love you. I love you. Look, Joseph, first impressions to me are everything. And watching the reaction you got before you even started, like I said, was astonishing. That was an amazing audition. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. From the moment you walked out, your smile is electric, Thank you know? You. And you walked out with such exuberance and such, and, and that's what life is, you know? Life is a series of moments. People at home are talking about this moment. People in this room are talking about this moment. People just want this moment to happen.
Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent in 2014. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us, how old were you when you won? I was seven years old. You were seven years oh. old. So you are now 13. I'm 13, yes. You are 13. <laughs> yeah. I've waited 10 years to sing for Simon, and I'm oh. finally... <laughs> So us three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, tonight? No, we don't. <laughs> what, is it, what is it about Simon? He's just amazing, and he's a legend. <laughs> he is. He is a legend. Yeah, he is. Well, Angelina, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Can you just come up to the mic like you're going to be here? Yeah. Mm. something really special, a star, and as they would say in Norway, Jai Elskadai. Oh, thank you. I love you too. And I think this moment, this time on stage, this song, this performance is going to change your life and your career forever. I believe that. Yeah. Everything about tonight felt like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. Seriously, this was an amazing performance. Finally, you guys are finished talking. You have no idea how hard it is for me to sit here to wait for you guys to jibbity, 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 because this was so amazing. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, here is Jackie Ivanko.
lady to come out who was really singing that. That was your voice? Yep, that was me. Incredible. You know what? We were going to do this show, and we all said at the beginning, it's kind of scary, and all we want to do is find that one moment, that one gem, that one star from a place we've never looked before in America's Got Talent, and you know what? This is the moment. You're the star. <laughs> Jackie, you're amazing. <laughs> wow. Here's... Are you sure you're not 30? Yeah. You're not just very small, right? You are 10 years old. 10 years old. Exactly. That is, I'm going to tell you, that is one of the most extraordinary performances I've ever seen on America's Got Talent. You've got it all. You've got, you've got the whole thing. You've got a lovely smile, beautiful dress, and then you start to sing, and everyone in this audience probably felt the way that I did. We all felt goosebumps. That moment when you think, I know, I know what's going to happen here. We're going to wake up tomorrow, and America is going to be going crazy for a little girl who just sang like an angel. Absolutely incredible performance. Sharon. Yeah, Jackie, I, when you first started to sing, I thought, is this for real? I can't believe that from this tiny body, this huge, mature voice that you have. It's, it is absolutely amazing. I, I can't believe it. And I've never seen anything like it. And it... That's how, why how do you feel, Jackie? I feel so amazed and so happy that I feel like I'm just about to burst in tears. Oh. oh but tears of happiness. I, it's such a delight for us that you run the show tonight. Thank you for being here, really. Wow, where does that voice come from? All right. Now, as I said, Jackie got the most votes online. And uh, we have a special prize for you. You ready for this? You and your family will fly round trip to Orlando, Florida, to Universal Studios Orlando Resort theme park, staying at the Hard Rock Hotel, and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Congratulations. How cool is that? It's so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You have this little dance routine. Oh, dance routine? Yep. So we, we did a battle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you do? Yeah. Yeah, dance-ish performance. What's up, man? Hi. How you doing? Very good. Hi, what's your name? My name is Kenichi. I'm 38 years old. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. And I'll be performing dance-ish performance. A little bit of uh, robots. OK. And dance and martial arts and my Wow. <laughs> Dancing is my passion, my dream is to do my full-length one-month show in Vegas. That's why I'm here. I'm ready to see something I've never seen before. Yes. You gonna give it to her? Yeah. Go get her, man. Have fun out there. Hi there. Look at you. Hello. What's your name? My name is Kenichi Ebina. What is your act? Um, my act is dance-ish performance. Dance-ish? Ish, yes. Okay. How did you get into dance-ish kind of performing? Um, I knew only the one step called the Running Man. Right. <laughs> and uh, when I did it, people got loud. And I was like, yeah. And so I was like, oh, I feel good. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm good. 
Kenichi. That was pretty awesome. Thank you. I loved it. The yeah. stuff that you did, I haven't seen anything like it before. You have a control over your body that is unbelievable. Thank you, thank you. Being the youngest judge on the panel, I can say that was off the chain! Thank you! Honey, you're no spring chicken. What are you talking about? Oh, I about? am. Oh. I thought your head had come off your body. It was that convincing. <laughs> We see a lot of guys who come on stage who try to do what you do. They can't do it, and you have a story to tell. Uh, you know, you were doing The Matrix there. That was the whole movie, all in 90 seconds. Awesome. It was magnificent. I could watch you all day. Me too. Thank you. Right? Yes. How? I'm telling you, that is the best dance we have seen in Chicago. It's the best dance I've seen in a long time. Thank you. You told a great story. Yes. You were wonderful. Thank you, yes. Let's vote, guys. I'm gonna start it off with a big yes. Thank you. <laughs> I like what Heidi does with her eyes when she votes. It's a yes. <laughs> now, it's a yes from me. You were thank great. You, thank you. And my vote is yes-ish. Thank you. You're Megan. Thank you. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. They keep coming. Welcome. Hi. How are you? What's your group's name? We are Unbeatable. And where are you from? Uh, Mumbai, India. Oh. oh wow. What's it like there? Tell us more about your, where you're from. Uh, life in Mumbai, it's like very hard. The life in slum, they don't get proper water and everything, they like... Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. No, it's okay. okay. We are VN Beatable Dance Group. Our group consists of 28 dancers, aged 12 to 27, and we are from Mumbai, India. Many of the members of our group live in slums. The slums are very crowded, very dirty, and they don't get proper electricity. Often, seven to 10 people are staying in one room. It is very challenging to survive over there. Each day, we pray for a better life but in the slums, there is very little opportunity for us. When we dance, we forget all the tensions in our mind. And we feel free. For the past two weeks, we are not able to sleep. This opportunity could change our life and everyone wants to succeed to give back to their families. We used to see the America's Got Talent on YouTube. We were like, can we go here? Like, someday. We were just dreaming about it. And today we are here. I can't explain it in words. It's our dream come true. If you win America's Got Talent, what do you want to see for the group? Uh, we want the world to know who is we unbeatable. Good luck. Let's see what you got. Please take the mic.
My name is Troy James. And um, what do you do for a living? I work in human resources. Okay. <laughs> so what will you be doing for us today? You'll see. Well, I can't wait to see this. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, he's so shy and sweet. explaining to yeah. do on Monday morning. <laughs> do you want to start this way? I do. I mean, it was like The Exorcist, you know, when Linda Blair does all that stuff. When you came up close to me, it was like you turned into, like, an animal or something. Yeah. But I love that. It's great. Thank you. Howie, what did you think? I would love to see you star in a horror film. Like, yeah. that would be great. How did you know you can do that? I was born flexible. I thought everyone could do it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you scare people around the office? Once I led the office warm-up stretch routine, and <laughs> long story short, I'm not allowed to lead the warm-up stretch routine. <laughs> now, what did you think? You're different. I loved your choice of music, yeah. the way that you presented yourself. How do you do that, that fast, back? I've never seen anything like that. All right, all right, oh, jeez. I get it. You were great. A bit spooky, but really great. <laughs> it was weird, it was absolutely disturbing, and I absolutely loved it because I feel like there is no one like you. Thank you so much. Let's vote, guys. Howie. Yes. Mel. Yes. Simon. Don't try this at home. Yes. And I'm giving you a fourth yes. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What's your name? I'm Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Cody D. How old are you? I am 22 years old. Yeah. Who are you, miss? Who are you? I'm Mom. Oh, I'm hi, Tina Mom. Lee. Hi, hi Tina. Hi. How are you? So, what are you going to do here for us today? I'm going to sing a song for you on the piano. I love it. <laughs> Tina, tell us a little bit about Cody. Cody is blind and autistic. Oh. Wow. We found out that he loved music really early on. He listened and his eyes just went huge. And he started singing. And that's when I just, I was in tears because that's when I realized, oh my gosh, he's an entertainer. So. Yeah. <laughs> Through music and performing, he was able to withstand living in this world. Because when you're autistic, it's really hard mm -hmm. to do what everybody else does. 
it actually has saved his life playing music. Wow. Aww. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we'd love to hear you. Go for it. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> in my life and time I've sung a lot of songs and I've made some bad rhymes I've acted on my life in stages 10,000 people watching yeah and we're alone now and I'm singing this song to you I love you in a place Oh, there's no space or time I love you from my life You're a friend of mine But when my life is over And what does that mean? It's a word in Arabic that means the proud walk of a lioness. Oh, wow. Where in the Middle East are you from? Lebanon. From Lebanon. Lebanon. Oh. Welcome. So how is life for you guys in Lebanon right now? Lebanon is a very beautiful country. Yeah. But we live a daily struggle. But unfortunately, being a dancer as a female Arab uh, is not fully supported yet. Um, <laughs> what is your dream? Us being here, standing on the biggest stage of the world, is our only chance to prove to the world what Arab women can do, the art we can create, the fights we fight. Do you know that if you win, you get one million dollars? Yes. So what are you going to do? I think I know, but... We're going to try to hypnotize you. Uh, Ooh. Uh. Ooh. OK, so we are ready to get hypnotized. Yes. So for that, I'm going to ask the judges to get a bit closer to each other to get the best experience. Come on over, Howie. All right. Let's snuggle up.
Iman? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, from Northport, Florida. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 10. You're 10? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Are you here with your parents? Uh, yeah, I'm here with my parents and my brothers. Uh, and your brothers. Are yeah. you the only girl in your family? Yeah. Oh, so you're the angel? Sometimes. Or are you the devil? <laughs> and what do your parents do? Well, my dad owns an ice cream factory. Uh, yes. <laughs> best job ever. Yeah. Do you get to go in there and pick all your favorite flavors? Yeah. What's your favorite flavor? Salted caramel, coffee, and chocolate chip mint. Yeah. Literally my favorites. We're on a good start. <laughs> okay, and let's see what you got. I mean, seriously, that was unbelievable. What an amazing person. Your dad's got the best job in the world. It must be magic ice cream. Um, and then you come along and just do that. You are absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Gabrielle. The whole audience was like, you've got to be kidding me. You're that talented. You're just a star, you know? Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. I was completely mesmerized and, and captivated, and your voice obviously blew all of us away, but there's something about your presence. Like, you're so confident and so true to who you are. Don't lose that aspect, because that is what's going to take you on this journey. And you're going to go really, really far, my love. <laughs> Thank you. All right, should we take a vote? I'm shaking. Simon. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> uh, I really, really am happy to give you your very first yes. Howie. I'll give you the second. Yes. Gabrielle. Don't be nervous at all. It's three yeses. I'm gonna give you a yes, but only if we can share some ice cream together. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And four yeses! Oh. Hi, how are you? And what's your name? Uh, Mandy Harvey. And who's this? My interpreter. What's your name? Sarah. 
Nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice to meet you, you, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Doing well, thank you. Hello. Okay, Mandy, so I think I've worked this out. So you're deaf? Yes, I, I lost all my hearing when I was 18 years old. Wow, and how old are you now? Uh, 29, so it's 10 years. Wow. And Mandy, how did you lose your hearing, if you don't mind me asking? I have a connective tissue disorder, so basically I got sick and my nerves deteriorated. So, you were singing before you lost your hearing? Yeah, I've been singing since I was four. So I, I left music after I lost my hearing and then uh, figured out how to get back into singing with muscle memory, using visual tuners and trusting my pitch. So your shoes are off because you're feeling the vibration. Is that how you're following the music? Yeah, I'm feeling the tempo, the, the beat uh, through the floor. And Mandy, what are you gonna sing? I'm gonna uh, sing a song that I wrote called Try. Okay, can you tell me what it's about? After I lost my hearing, I gave up. But I want to do more with my life than just give up. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good for you. Okay, well look, this is your moment and good luck. Uh, okay. I don't think you're going to need a translator for this. Kristen Cruz. Hello, Kristen Cruz. <laughs> nice to meet you. 
Very nice to meet you. <laughs> nice and where are you too. from, Kristen? I am from Crowley, Texas. Okay. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 19 years old. And who are you here with? I'm here with my parents, my mom and my dad. Yeah? <laughs> Tell us about you. So I sing. Yes. And uh, I make drinks and videos of me singing. At the same time? Yes, yeah. Okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> I just really kind of just share what my kind life. Oh, uh, like matcha, coffee, protein shakes, and yeah. stuff. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you decided to come from there to here now? I tried getting a job at Home Depot, and I was like, you know what? I want to sing, you know? <laughs> I don't want to not believe in myself and not try, you know? What's the big dream? Um, to inspire people, to, to make them feel that you don't have to be anything else but yourself. I don't have to be the industry standard, you know? I like that. Well, I don't think the industry have got any idea what the standard is, if yes. I'm being honest with you. All right, Kristen, best of luck. We're all rooting for you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
like, wow. I just want to commend you for taking something that's probably been one of the hardest things you'll ever have to go through and turning it around and finding something that brings you joy. Thank you. Simon. Um, wow, wow, wow. By the way, before I start, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling really proud of myself. Oh. If you don't mind me asking, Tyler, how is your health now? Well, I've been in remission for almost four years. You know what? You are an extraordinary young man. We hear too many stories about people being bullied, but I can tell you one thing. Most people are bullied because they're better than the people who bully them. You know that. I think you have such an amazing talent, such a personality, and I would like to say something on your behalf to the bullies. Funny, but it's actually a strenuous process. And a lot of people give up too soon. I think there's comedians out there that are way funnier than me, that they'll never be seen because they don't work like I work. <laughs> the eight years I was doing stand-up and I was shattered, I wasn't broke. I got to the point where I was like, man, I just want to quit. <laughs> but I just kept pushing. And then I got on America's Got Talent. <laughs> Season 12, I lost to Darcy. I was like, if I push a little harder, I know I'll be fine. And now all that hard work is paying off because I'm on America's Got Talent Champions. <laughs> I really think in my heart and soul, I can win this show. I'm going to win. I'm coming for you, Darcy. Even though she didn't make it through, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> and I did just hear that Darcy hasn't been out of the And I, uh, she has. <laughs> Are you serious? Darcy Lynn was added as a wild card. <laughs> Why? Thank you so much. And I did that sober. That's crazy. Nah. <laughs> yes, I'm excited, man. I don't, uh, I do most things so I don't really drink. I don't like the way alcohol tastes. <laughs> Everybody know alcohol is nasty. I know this because I've never seen anybody take a shot and not slap a table. That's how I know. <laughs> you ever see someone's face when they take a shot? They just, yeah! Why are you doing that? <sighs> it just makes you dizzy. Like, if you can't afford alcohol, just start spinning in circles. That's all you need to do. <laughs> what you doing, girl? You know I don't get paid till Friday. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to keep up with y'all. <laughs> Stand-up comedy's pretty cool. It's one of the only jobs you can drink and, uh, and work. My last job, I could do that as well. My last job was great. I made a lot of money. I got to choose my hours. It was a great job. It's pros and cons of drug dealing. But for the most part, like, I, <laughs> I did so well, you know? I just did great. The job before that, I used to work at a gym, you know? It's funny, when you work at a gym, you notice things, right? Like, you notice that men that go to the gym, men only work out their upper body, right? Because they're dumb. They're like, <laughs> they're like, oh, I want to get buff. I'm like, that's cool, bro. But leg day, right? 
got all these men walking around, body shaped like the letter T, like you look dumb. You belong on Sesame Street. That's where you belong. That's... <laughs> Today's word is testosterone. Who I go? That's where you belong. Women do the exact opposite, because women want a big booty, but they don't want to get buff, right? So you got all these women walking around, body shaped like a T-Rex, thinking they fine, like, hi. No. Look like a really attractive ostrich right now. That's what you look like. <laughs> women are so afraid of getting buff. They are so afraid, you know? You got men in the gym trying so hard to get buff, and they can't. They can't get bigger. Women think they just gonna pick up one dumbbell. <laughs> just one, like, hey. <laughs> what does dumbbell do, hmm? I just want to pick it up and see what it does, okay? I just, just want to pick it up and see what it does. That's all I want to do, okay? I just want to see what it does! <laughs> Katrina, man! Y'all better laugh at that joke. It cost me six ninety five, man. <laughs> My name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Preacher Lawson! I thought you were going to put your shirt up. <laughs> this should be interesting. from and what is your name? We are from Ukraine and we are Light Balance Dance Group. Light Balance Dance Group. I love this act so much. I love the creativity, also the music that you chose. I mean, we've seen dances in the dark before, but not this good. What did you think, Holly? I actually loved it. And what people uh, tend to miss is the simulation of the lights. That's a choreography, too. We love what you did, and you should be very proud of yourself and very proud of your troupe. Thank you so much. Thank you. What did you think, Mel? I loved the whole thing from the light, the subtlety in your dance movements were just perfection. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Simon, what did you think? I thought the act was incredible. It was imaginative, it was different. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought it was incredible. Congratulations. Let's vote. Stop right now. I'm amazed by 
about you guys? You guys, was this not incredible? Like crazy good? You my mind good? Yes. I'm feeling you guys so, so much. Ah, here she comes! Here she comes! What to explain my feelings? Yeah, it's like dreams come true. Yes. Thank you so much, Zara. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody. You're so welcome. Oh my gosh! I have been waiting to do that for so long. Amazing, amazing. incredible film. All the hard work pays off, and look where you are. Thank you. Thank oh you my so gosh. The day is full of surprises. That was mind blowing. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and what's your name? My name is Sarah. Where are you from, Sarah? I'm from Poland. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> My family, or well, you know, part of them going back in time, were from Poland. Me too. I'm Polish. Yeah. So we could be related. God, that's true. <laughs> so what made you decide to come on America's Got Talent? You know, um, when I was like a little, I was, you know, always watching the videos on YouTube of the show and I was so, you know, amazed by that. And, um, you know, and they said that in America, you know, everything, you know, is coming true. The dreams are coming true. So I check if that's true. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. And how old are you, Sarah? Um, I'm 13. 13? Oh my God. What? 13. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm guessing you're a singer, yeah? yeah. yeah. Tell me yeah. <laughs> the song you're going to sing and why you chose this song, please. I'm going to sing a Billie Eilish song, Lovely. Okay. I feel it's really emotional, really, the lyrics are really, you know, full. I hope you're going to like it, like everyone's going to like it. Okay, well, listen, <laughs> I've got a good feeling about you for some reason. All right, Sarah, Thank you. good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here we go. She's nervous. Yeah. 13. 13 years old. Oh, yeah. Baby. Thought I found a way. Thought I found a way out. But you never go away. So I guess I'm gotta stay now
We've heard a lot of singers over the years, but wow, there are those moments where... Yes. I mean, this wasn't perfect. However, you have a real star glow about you. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. I appreciate so, it. is this your first time to America? Yeah, that's true. It must be such an unbelievable feeling doing this in front of an American audience, because yeah. I'm guessing this is probably where you dreamt of performing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I can remember when I came to America for the first time, and that was 20 odd years ago. And that was a moment I'll never forget. And I want to make this a moment for you to remember forever. Madison, I mean, you don't need a track or anything. Why don't you just do what you just did? Is sure, that okay? Yeah. Do you want some water or anything? I'm okay. You I'm sure? Okay. She's ready. Look at her. She's yeah. ready. Just do it. I'm not kidding. In all the years we've ever done this, this has never actually happened before. I mean, I normally leave during the break because people do sing. So, uh, uh. so this is actually the opposite. It actually brought me back into the room. This is what you wanted. This is your dream, yeah. to be on the stage, not oh, just to watch. So yes. Yeah. You're 11 years old. Do you sing at school? I sing for some of the school events, but... Everybody's going to know your name now, young lady. Your life has just changed. <laughs> what would you do with a million dollars? I don't even know. I mean, I would... <laughs> um, I would help my dad with uh, cancer research. Um, he had stage four colon cancer. 
for the past nine years. So I would help him with that. Oh. We should just vote. What are we doing? We're vote? voting? Well, yeah, I mean, look, I think I know which way this is going to go. We're just going to vote. Yeah, and we're going to vote. Go down with it. Yeah. Howie. mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord I mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> You know how that show works? Get somebody who's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra, and baby panties, and wear you on a scale, and for cattle, on national TV. <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? You want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show I would support. How did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. <laughs> when I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six month old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <laughs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're gonna think it's real. I did that. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey y'all, it's Molly Cyrus, what's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> 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 
You do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? Yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. What? Do it. <laughs> do it. All right. I will do an impression, yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. It's a crapshoot. Crapshoot. <laughs> Come on! All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. <laughs> in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened. Right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with a Doritos Locos taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was going to rob us because I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. Oh. Yes. Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you are a victim. Supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you starting Are you starting? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? 
Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times, you alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, <laughs> who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's it. I'm kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? Okay. So my daughter turns 16 and she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're 16. Listen to yourself. A hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> when I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. Okay? Right? So, I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask. Right, Howie? Right. I'm not going to get on a bus full of first graders sober. Not, not whatever. Okay? <laughs> I take out my flask, you know, I have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask! You know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? And I'm like, calm down, biatch. I'm not driving this bus. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. I have some voices for you, judges. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. I have a twin sister, and I actually don't talk a lot about being a twin because people ask really stupid twin questions. Like, whenever I say I have an identical twin without fail, someone will go, do you guys look alike? <laughs> we are very different personality-wise, me and my sister. I'm very silly and playful. My sister's very dark and sarcastic, and she has low self-esteem, which is weird, because she has my face. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what it's like when someone that looks exactly like you calls you up and goes, I feel so ugly. <laughs> That's good. That is our face. <laughs> you know I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon, though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. 
I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, yeah, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. And we broke up and I was pantalones. <laughs> yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> The first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I applied to work at the Cocoa Foundation when I was in college, uh, and they rejected me because I have hearing loss. Yes, boo, the Cocoa Foundation. Uh, they, told, they told me I was a liability issue because if the gorilla were to sneak up on me, I would not be able to hear it, which I can't say with any degree of certainty, uh, <laughs> but probably that seems true. Um, so you guys seem like a nice crowd full of hearing people, so I'm just going to toss this question out to the room. Um, what are y'all going to do different if a gorilla sneaks up on you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. I would love to know. Um, that makes a lot of sense. DM me after the show. I'm just desperate to know what home field advantage y'all have uh, <laughs> with your two second head start. Ridiculous. Nothing. Nothing. The only thing you're going to do different than me is die scared. That's it. Um. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. So on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch, and everybody saw that, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> Thank you.
Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> It defies statistics. Sometimes the statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> Give it up for my dad. Gerald Kelly, the comedian. I love that dude. But he's a loser. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm seven years old, and we have the same job. <laughs> The other day, he was like, hey, yo, Hunter, are you going to work tonight? <laughs> if you going, I'm going. We have the same job. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. You're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom would just show up. Where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom. You raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs> I, just, I just got broken up with, it was an open relationship, it means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this, apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> you guys know, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? Yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes up, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now. <laughs> As soon as my son touched my finger, I knew I would die for him. I don't even know this dude, but I would die for my son. The first time I see him, the first time I touch him, I would die for my son. Isn't that crazy we do that, fellas? Yeah. That's right.
Because we wouldn't do that for our wives. What? <laughs> oh, I'm feeling the heat from the women. Hey, hang on, hang on. Let me explain. Ladies, hang on. Hang on. Look, ladies, the first time we see you or touch you is usually on the first date. No dude in this world is dying for you on the first date. Now, let me make you feel better about the situation. If you're on a first date and a dude looks at you and goes, I would die for you, you better run. Because that dude's about to kill you. But I would die for my wife now, 100%. It took a couple years, but we got there. That's right. If a car jumped the curb and was headed her way, I would push out of the way and take the hit myself. That's how much I love her. Because we've all dated people we wouldn't die for, right? That same car jumps the curb. You're like, shh, I guess it was their time. I guess it was their time. The Lord works in mysterious ways. I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Uh, I got colors and shapes down, I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. Uh, remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it. You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> Now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. 